Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Jordan's Vision. Okay, guys, tonight we're continuing with Only Murders in the Building. We are on Season 1, Episode 9 now. Uh, in the last episode, uh, a lot happened. Uh, we basically uh, thought we had uh, closed the book on Teddy and Theo being responsible for everything, and then uh, the detective, uh, Detective Williams, uh, looked at the toxicology report. It found that uh, Tim was poisoned before he was shot, uh, and that Theo and Teddy ended up having some kind of alibi. And to top all that off, uh, at the end of the episode, Charles finds his girlfriend Jan uh, dead as well. So uh, the murder is still out there, guys. Uh, and we have two more episodes in the season. So uh, let's uh, get to episode nine. Episode nine is titled Double Time. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, kind of at a dead end again. So uh, yeah, we'll see uh, how they wrap this one up in the last two episodes. So episode nine, here we go. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And don't forget, reacting to art is sharing art. Channels like these benefit everyone from the viewers all the way up to the original creators themselves. Also, a reminder, spoilers are likely. So if you haven't seen this episode yet and would like to, please feel free to click off and take care of that first. I'll be here when you get back. But for those of you who are sticking with me, here we go. I'm sitting here looking at timestamp photos of the Demises outside before the fire alarm even went off. Oh, God. It's your alibi. You mean my girlfriend was right? I don't know, you guys. Don't you think it feels a little too easy? Yeah, she was so annoying, and then she ended up being right. She's not right about Howard, but... What is wrong with you? Is it cancer? It's anxiety. It happens sometimes when I talk to people. Oh, this might happen again. Sex toys! We got sex toys, people! Help! Anybody, help! Crazy way to end that episode, so... New York in winter is no friend of the bassoon. Jan's still narrating. To make her feel comfortable in your hands again. Do we know that she's dead or Anybody? she just got a wound? I might pick her up. Like we're meeting for the first Oh, she's time. not dead. She's got to get well soon, Balloon. You know, if she's alive. Does she know who attacked her? I can see you wince. There's no way you can play a concert tomorrow. All I have to do is sit and blow. True. Stab wound doesn't hurt that. I mean, I'd kill whoever did this to you. If it was Howard the cat guy, who you tried to remind us of, I want to snap his leg off like I snapped off his cat's leg. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't been listening to the podcast. You need some proof to do that. And I never saw the person. Yeah. Okay, she didn't see the person. Levi, you know, cutting people loose is not one of my things. And Mabel's going to be looking at me with those damn cocker spaniel eyes. Look, I Please don't quit. Please don't. Well, at least one of them does. <laughs> but you mean more. Aw. You know, I can get tan, although I turn sort of a, you know, pinkish lavender. Oh, <laughs> that's attractive. Lester. What do we got? Now, Pataki, my stunt double from Brazos. Your stunt okay. double 20 years ago? Just Pataki makes it a point to stop by every year when the big stunt awards are in town, like we're still best buds. I forgot it was this week. I wonder if they look the same. We have kind of a complicated history, but I'm going to make this go away. Huh. Going to make him fall down the stairs? Oh. Oh. I mean, from behind, he kind of looks the same. Who do we have here? Oh, it's a she. Was that Jane Lynch? I don't think Jane Lynch has hair that gray yet, but... We now know the true killer of Tim Kona was not Teddy or Theo Demas. So Gotta get that out of the way. Forget, forget about our mistake. The good news is, this means last week's episode was not our finale. And we can all still enjoy the final... To discuss this murder and podcast nonsense. I mean, if you're gonna call it podcast nonsense, maybe don't put it under the door of someone in the podcast. I mean, there was a note on Jan's door before she got stabbed. There was a note on Oliver's door before his dog got poisoned. So what, there's just this person running around leaving notes poisoning and stabbing and the note killer did you just yeah it took you long enough <laughs> took me long enough too oh they're evicting him guess he wasn't paying his bills fighting off a live gator with a broken off bourbon bottle and this guy's complaining about a sunburn he got in an airboat <laughs> well we've only known each other a few weeks and Half that time, I've been recovering from an assault slash stabbing. Oh, adorable. So you yeah, that, that'll uh, interrupt the storytelling. I saw you on Fallon. You are about to get tarantino man! Technically, it wasn't him on Fallon, but... 
fuckaroonies. It's my agent. Los fuckaroonies. I love that. I'm doubling for Tilda Swinton. Can I, yeah? Uh... Yeah, you can take it in the next room. Oh, Tilda's shoulder hip measurement, exact same as yours. That'd be crazy if true. <laughs> As was always more popular than I was on the set, and she was better at everything than I was. I doubt that. Oh, really? And but it's still your part. Says. What? Yeah, season six. Oh. There's been three more seasons with her while she shacked up with Cookie. Hey, how you feeling? Hello. You hear that, Brazos? You still got it. Oh, oh my gosh, nope. I'm so sorry. Wrong Brazos. Stop. Oh. Oh. The fuck? My stud double from Brazos. Seen double, yes. four Brazoses. Happens to been called a groundbreaker. Among other things. <laughs> <laughs> I did some of my own stunts. Yeah, you rode a bike. It's not a stunt. Anybody? So Bunny's a fuck face. <laughs> well, a little kerfuffle at my place. Oh. Bunny changed the locks to me. But Guess who's moving in? in Charles, I need to camp. Oh. Again, wrong Charles. I don't know what work you've had. Done, <laughs> but it's too much. Is that filler? I'm over here. Ah! <laughs> what is this face off? Kinda? How <laughs> stuff get this yet? Well, look, we know that Tim uh, Fenton Howard the symmetry. Does his cat I mean, if Howard still has the blood thing, I don't know how he would stab somebody. Motive. Tim Kono was drugged, then shot. Well, that requires premeditation. Romantic yes, it does. Theory, the desire to see someone suffer before you blow their brains out. So this girl knows, knows her psycho. This is an accidental confession from a lovelorn murderer. I am riveted. <laughs> She's so the better you. So impressive. <laughs> oh, and what are these? Looky here. Cocktail glasses from the garbage the night of the murder. What we got? Oh, poison? So I'll bet you a Hunsky they come back positive for the poison that killed Tim. You find the person... I betcha. Tim. We never found any evidence that Tim was seeing anyone. I just don't get it. Yeah, they didn't. Because it is. That's true. Oh, who told you that? Cookie? Because it turns out I can be very passionate with the right person. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, guys. I'm yeah, wrong area. Loving. The only way I'm going to get my place back is if I beat Bunny at her own building meeting today. Yeah, and how <laughs> are you going to do that? Take beat her how? Story. Can't leave Jan here alone. I'll keep watch for you, pal. Just like the old days, right? Put in the stunt woman. I may hurt him or at least speak to him firmly. That's the guy you think is a Yeah, do that one. Keister's down. To She's so uninterested. Jim Kono's death has now been ruled a homicide, and apparently one of you jerk offs did it. Also, <laughs> the tenants in 14C. Way number one to get murdered to call the murderer a jerk off. And for any fans, uh, I do have some officially licensed tie dye sweatshirts. Um, <laughs> You can look just like tie dye guy. I bought a twelve pound brisket for a dinner party, and now no one wants to come because we're the murder building. What am I supposed to do with my brisket now, Brazos? It's not their fault a murder happened. My kids are too scared to sleep in their own rooms, so now I share a bed with people who are actively shitting themselves. Well, sometimes you do have to make a mess to clean one up. Exactly. Worry. As per the building's bylaws, if eight or more tenants file complaints against another tenant, they could be evicted. Hey now. What? You can't evict my aunt. No, just you. By a show of I mean, parents, Selena doesn't even technically live there. Thinks our building would be better off without these three fuckwads. Hey. In technical terms. A toxicology report came back on my beloved cat, and Evelyn was poisoned. Yeah, that's what I thought. The same poison that killed Tim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Tim and Evelyn, Evelyn have the same killer. Evelyn's legs was missing when I removed her from my freezer, leading me to believe that the killer broke in and dropped well, Evelyn's body to cover his or her own tracks. Well, the, the killer didn't do that. Don't you bully him, Bunny. Enough with you on your New York co-op power games. All in that's favor right. Of Terrific. I'll start the eviction process today. Oh, you Instead bitch. You, if you're a murderer, stop murdering. Yeah, that'll work. Clearly, that didn't go well. But Oliver is right. If we find the murderer, the board will have to reconsider. You two but... won't. Stop. Exactly. And can I tell you something? The comments from the fans for her character have been surprisingly positive. You're not hearing Surprisingly. Me. I'm done. I don't like getting hurt. And ever since you two have been in my life, I'm surrounded by danger and pain. As opposed to nothing at all. 
Oh. Yeah? It's me. Nice, Charles. She's, cut the kid a break. She's not a kid. We only think she's a kid because we're old. <laughs> I mean, relative. Two. Splash 2, an Oliver Putnam production. Well, that was mean. A great callback, but incredibly mean. <laughs> Once my apartment is gone, she'll be the only good thing in my life. What's going on? Oh, oh. Stunt double stole another woman. It's happening again. Took you less than an hour. My bandage changed. Oh, okay, that's it. What did you think? The truth is, Saz doubled me for sex scenes too. Apparently, my hip motions weren't natural, which I'm sure you noted. I have a big solo tomorrow night. Stravinsky's Firebird is one of those rare pieces in which a first chair bassoon really gets to shine. Go get it, Jan. I'm a New York broad has been stabbed. I can handle shit. Keep your doors locked. Sorry, you may be. Oh, maybe Bunny is the killer, and this is her way. Maybe to start Bunny is the killer. I mean, after all, I'm dating the first chair bassoonist for the symphony, and I've never even seen you play. Oh, I don't know. I've seen her play in the courtyard. I, I think it'd make me too nervous knowing you were seeing me not at my best. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Just come in secret anyway. That's what I do. Just go and don't tell her. And then at the end, be like, guess what? Please don't. Do anything in there. It's gonna be hard. It's a pretty mm. arousing setup. <laughs> they totally do it in front of the third wheel. You look fancy. I've got a hot day with a prematurely balding lawyer. I figured I'd have <laughs> some people tuck their shirts in, right? Unless they're hiding bloodstains. That's how I get the final episode of my dreams. Mm -hmm. I, I want this to be better than the jinx guy confessing in the pisser. Another podcast, probably. And you know, we should not presume that a lover of Tim's is necessarily a woman. True. His sex toys could reveal anything. Yeah, maybe. Okay, all right. Let's just start at the very beginning. I got in the elevator with these two weirdos, and I was rocking yeah. this awesome yellow fur coat. Really popped in, yeah. by the way. Gotta remember the fur coat. And we had that cool connection about your beats. Do you like your beats? Yeah, wasn't that cool? Oliver? The... Trash bag that Tim had in the elevator has blue straps. All the trash bags I got from his apartment when I took all of his stuff have orange straps. Was he taking out his lover's trash? You know he might have been. Yet? Tim's next door neighbor. Yeah, they haven't talked to her at all. I would never make a move on your girlfriend. Again. Again, like yeah. That which can be stolen can be stolen. She left me. Happened to you too. We both deserve someone just like Jan. Is she suggesting a threesome? Uh, I know you, Charles. That's why gender never prevented me from doubling for you. Even in the hot tub and the sex scenes. I thought that was mostly This is the girl for you, pal. I felt it the moment I walked into the room yesterday. And she's got a very big first chair bassoon moment tonight. Go watch that bassoon girl. Is there anything that you could tell us about Tim Misidoku? Did you see someone come in and out? Other than the bad stuff you told us before. Tim was seeing someone? Oh, yes, but I, I never saw her, though. But it was a woman. Oh, yes. So there was someone in there. I hated Tim Connor, but... Ooh. Ooh. That man knew what he was doing. Ooh, a little jealousy, maybe. <laughs> Just blend in. She'll never know. Maybe you never found anything that pointed to a girlfriend. I mean... Besides yeah. the first engagement, engagement ring. I'm compelled to know what these things are for. But maybe it will give us a better picture of who she is. Maybe it'll teach you a few like things. No, I remember this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exotic instruments. Exotic instruments. Somebody young, look that up. Somebody, somebody young. I'm here to see my girlfriend. Oh, me too. To give special mention to our soloist, the youngest first chair bassoonist in our symphony's history, Miss Allison Tipton. Jan isn't first chair. Exotic Instruments doesn't sell sex toys. It sells musical instruments. Really? Oliver? Okay. Then what the hell is that? Why is there a bassoon cleaner in Tim's sex toy box? It's a bassoon? It's a bassoon cleaner? Oh, wow. That blew my mind. Okay. 
Let's process this. Okay, so, uh, that was an interesting episode, and we got ourselves a cliffhanger, folks. Uh, so apparently what they thought was a sex toy found in Tim's apartment was actually a bassoon cleaner, which kind of points to, you know, the bassoon player. So was Jan the woman that Tim saw that night? And if so, does Jan suddenly become our suspect? Wow. I did not see that coming up from a mile away, but I think I know who the killer is now. <laughs> like, like, yeah, of course we got one episode to go and we'll find out, but, uh, yeah, uh, again, not a spoiler, uh, if I'm right, it's just my theory right now, but, but, uh, I think it's a pretty strong theory, but, uh, yeah, can't wait to watch the season finale, so, uh, yeah, and we'll get to that really, really soon, but, uh, until then... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my sports vlogging channel, Jordan's Vlogs. And until next time, this is Jordan saying you can be productive sitting at home on your couch. All you need is a TV, a great catalog, and a vision. This has been Jordan's Vision. Take care. Bye-bye.